Imagine you're alone on the open sea when suddenly, nature unleashes its fury. The wind howls like a banshee, whipping the waves into a frenzy. The sky, once a peaceful blue, transforms into a canvas of menacing gray, as if the heavens themselves are about to unleash their wrath. This, my friends, is the raw, untamed power of the ocean, a force to be reckoned with, respected, and ultimately, survived. Out there in the vast expanse of the ocean, lurks a silent predator, a behemoth that can appear out of nowhere, the rogue wave. Imagine a wall of water, towering over 100 feet high, three times the size of a double-decker bus, rising from the depths to challenge even the mightiest of ships. Sailors throughout history have whispered tales of these monsters, these freak waves capable of swallowing vessels whole. They appear suddenly, often in perfectly clear weather, without warning, leaving even the most seasoned captains with a knot of fear in their stomachs. I've heard accounts from fishermen who've witnessed these giants firsthand. They describe the deafening roar as the wave crashes down, the feeling of utter helplessness as their boats are tossed about like toys. The ocean, in these moments, reveals its true, raw power, a force that can humble even the most experienced mariner. One story that sticks with me is that of the oil tanker, the Esso Languedoc. In 1980, off the coast of South Africa, this massive vessel was hit by a rogue wave estimated to be over 100 feet high. It was an encounter that nearly sent the tanker to a watery grave. The crew described the wave as a wall of water, a force of nature unlike anything they'd ever seen. These waves are not mere myths, they are a stark reminder of the ocean's unpredictable nature. They are the stuff of nightmares, a testament to the fact that even in the 21st century, there are still forces in this world that can defy our understanding and leave us in awe of their sheer power. But what causes these monstrous waves? Scientists believe that a combination of factors including strong currents, converging swells and underwater topography, can lead to their formation. They are in essence a perfect storm of oceanographic conditions, a terrifying example of nature's ability to create something so powerful, so unpredictable. Understanding these waves though, is only half the battle. For those who find themselves facing down a rogue wave, survival depends on a combination of luck, skill, and a healthy dose of fear. It's about knowing your vessel, understanding the limits of both man and machine, and having the courage to face the unknown head-on. While rogue waves are terrifying in their own right, there's another kind of wave that strikes fear into the hearts of coastal communities around the world, the tsunami. Unlike wind-driven waves, which are relatively small and localized, tsunamis are generated by seismic events, massive underwater disturbances that send shockwaves rippling across entire oceans. Imagine an earthquake beneath the ocean floor, a sudden shift of tectonic plates that displaces billions of gallons of water. This displacement creates a series of waves often barely noticeable at sea, that travel at hundreds of miles per hour, carrying with them the energy of the initial earthquake. As these waves approach the shore they slow down due to the shallower water but their energy remains constant. This causes the water to pile up, creating a wall of water that can reach heights of over 100 feet, crashing onto land with unimaginable force. History is littered with stories of devastating tsunamis. The 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami, triggered by a magnitude 9.1 earthquake, claimed the lives of over 230,000 people across 14 countries. It was a stark reminder of the destructive power of these waves, how they can turn paradise into a disaster zone in a matter of minutes. The 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami, which struck off the coast of Japan, caused widespread destruction and triggered a nuclear disaster at the Fukushima Daiichi power plant. The images of that day, the sheer scale of the devastation, are forever etched in our collective memory. But amidst the tragedy, there are also stories of survival, of human resilience, in the face of overwhelming odds. There are tales of early warning systems, of communities coming together to rebuild, and of individuals who risked their lives to save others. These stories remind us that even in the darkest of times, the human spirit can endure. They teach us the importance of preparedness, the value of community, and the need to respect the immense power of the natural world. Now if you thought tsunamis were terrifying, imagine a wave so colossal, so immense, that it dwarfs even the most powerful tsunami. These are the mega tsunamis, towering waves capable of reaching heights of over 1,000 feet, generated by events of unimaginable scale. Imagine a massive landslide, perhaps triggered by a volcanic eruption or an earthquake, sending millions of tons of rock and debris crashing into the ocean. This sudden displacement of water creates a mega tsunami, a wave of unimaginable destructive power. Unlike regular tsunamis which are caused by relatively localized seismic events, mega tsunamis are generated by events so large, so catastrophic, that they can reshape entire coastlines. Fortunately, these events are incredibly rare, occurring only a handful of times in recorded history. One such event occurred in Lituya Bay, Alaska, in 1958. A massive earthquake triggered a landslide that sent 90 million tons of rock plunging into the narrow bay. The resulting mega tsunami, the largest ever recorded, reached a height of over 1,720 feet, stripping the surrounding hillsides bare of vegetation. 
and leaving a path of destruction in its wake. The Latuya Bay Megatsunami serves as a chilling reminder of the immense power of nature, of the forces that shape our planet and the limits of our ability to control them. It's a testament to the fact that even in the 21st century there are still forces at play that can dwarf our greatest achievements and leave us humbled in their presence. But the story of the Latuya Bay Mega Tsunami is not just a tale of destruction, it's also a story of survival. There were survivors, people who lived to tell the tale of that fateful day, their accounts offering a glimpse into the terrifying power of these waves and the resilience of the human spirit. These stories remind us that even in the face of overwhelming odds, there is always hope. They teach us the importance of respecting the power of nature, of being prepared for the unexpected, and of never underestimating the human will to survive. While rogue waves and tsunamis may be the ocean's most dramatic displays of power, there's another type of wave that poses a more subtle, yet equally deadly, threat, the sneaker wave. These waves, often larger than those preceding them, appear suddenly and without warning, catching unsuspecting beachgoers off guard. Imagine yourself strolling along the beach, enjoying the sunshine and the sound of the waves crashing on the shore. The ocean seems calm, inviting even. But what you don't see is the danger lurking beneath the surface, a surge of water building momentum preparing to strike. Sneaker waves can be deceptively powerful, their energy often masked by calmer waves. They can sweep people off their feet, drag them out to sea or toss them against rocks causing serious injury, or even death. These waves are a constant reminder that the ocean is not to be trifled with, that even on seemingly calm days, danger can lurk beneath the surface. They highlight the importance of being aware of your surroundings, of never turning your back on the ocean, and of respecting its unpredictable nature. Footage captured by witnesses often shows the terrifying speed with which these waves strike. One moment the beach is clear, the next a wall of water is rushing in, engulfing everything in its path. The power of these waves is often underestimated, leading to tragic consequences. But amidst the tragedy, there are also stories of incredible rescues, of surfers risking their lives to save others, of bystanders forming human chains to pull people from the water. These acts of courage and selflessness remind us of the inherent goodness in humanity, of our willingness to help others in need, even in the face of danger. The Latuya Bay Mega Tsunami, as mentioned earlier, stands as a chilling testament to the raw power of nature. Yet, amidst the devastation, there were survivors, their stories offering a glimpse into the terrifying experience and the remarkable resilience of the human spirit. On the evening of July 9, 1958, a massive earthquake registering 7.8 on the Richter scale struck the Fairweather Fault in southeast Alaska. The tremors triggered a colossal landslide in Latuya Bay, a narrow fjord carved by glaciers over millennia. Over 90 million tons of rock and ice, the equivalent of 300 Empire State Buildings, plunged from a height of 3,000 feet into the confined waters of the bay. The impact was akin to a giant asteroid strike, generating a wave of unimaginable proportions. Witnesses described a deafening roar, a thunderous boom as the mountainside gave way. The wave a towering wall of water surged across the bay at speeds exceeding 100 miles per hour, stripping trees from the surrounding mountainsides, uprooting everything in its path. Three fishing boats anchored near the entrance of the bay were caught in the path of the mega tsunami. The Badger, manned by Bill and Vivian Swanson, was anchored closest to the impact zone. As the wave approached, Bill described it as looking like the whole mountain had just fallen into the bay. The wave lifted the Badger like a toy, carrying it over the spit of land that separated the bay from the open ocean. They were literally riding the crest of a monster, tossed about like a cork in a hurricane. Miraculously, the Badger survived the ordeal, its hull battered but intact. Another boat, the Edry, anchored further out in the bay was also hit by the wave. Howard Ulrich and his son managed to ride the wave, their boat lifted high above the treetops before being deposited back into the churning waters. The third boat, the Sunmore, was less fortunate. The wave struck the vessel head-on, capsizing it and claiming the lives of those on board. The Latuya Bay Mega Tsunami, while a testament to the destructive power of nature, also showcased the indomitable human spirit. The survivors' accounts, their descriptions of riding the wave, of clinging to life amidst the chaos, remind us that even in the face of unimaginable forces, hope and resilience can prevail. These are the waves that command respect, remember the ocean's beauty is matched only by its power. From the silent menace of rogue waves to the devastating wrath of tsunamis, the sea demands our attention, our respect and our humility. Stay safe and respect the water. Be aware of your surroundings, heed the warnings and never underestimate the power of the ocean. For in the end, it is not us who conquer the waves, but rather, those who understand and respect their awesome power who truly survive.